three, three, two, two, one, one. Got a blast. What is going on my people? How is everybody doing and how is everybody feeling in today? Welcome back to another video my people and in today's video I'm going to be showing you all how to make an incredible I'm telling you my people incredible DeMar DeRozan build. This build is going to be insane. Trust me when I say this. It's going to be ridiculous. Alright so first things first you already know. When it comes to the finishing of the DeMar DeRozan build, 88 layup, 55 standing dunk, 80 driving dunk, 96 close shot, jeez louise, jeez louise, 96 close shot, but I'm not surprised because most, not most, but majority of NBA players should know how to make a close shot, that's the easiest shot in the game, so it's like you should be able to make that. But 80 driving dunk is actually insane this year. It's like an OP 75. Like, you know, last year was 75, but now it's like souped up now. Um, driving layup, this should still unlock all of the, the layup packages that you could possibly get. So that would be great. Um, now, for the shooting, you know Lamar is amazing in the mid range shot. This man has game winners shooting in the mid range shot. This man is an incredible player when it comes to shooting the basketball in the mid-range and we get that 76 three-point shot all right now for the free throw he has an 82 that 87 post control is going to be insane insane he's good in the post like, like look at that his overall is 87 he has an 87 post control insane now for the ball handling you see 83 that's what's up speed with boys at 80 as well and then the pass accuracy is a 73 not bad so he's he's gonna be able to get the decent uh passing i think 71 is like the bare minimum this year it used to be 77 but i think 71 a lot of people's going 71. so now interior defense he's not really known for his defense but i'm gonna fix that don't worry 70 on the perimeter is probably not the best because you might as well just go 71 at least to get challenger uh no steal no block but like I said, I'm going to fix that up. And then the speed. 82 on the speed. 82 agility. 73 strength. 88 on the vertical with the stamina of a 88. Okay, so without further ado, I can't wait to make this build. Let's go to the Mob Player Builder and make the one and only DeMar DeRozan. All right, my people, so we in the Mob Player Builder. As you can see, first and last name, DeMar DeRozan. Let's get it. Right hand jersey number is 10. You want to go small forward, you want to go to 6'6", six, six. and then for the uh, weight, you want to go 220, and then you want to go 6'9", on the wingspan. Now, my people, watch how this build comes out. From what we just saw, watch how I was able to use those attributes and just make this build souped up. So look at this, right? So we're just going to go with a 70 verb. Just like the bare minimum, I always recommend just go 70s at least. If you're a point guard, you probably don't need that. Unless you want to be a dunker, then that's different. But just 70 is like the bare minimum. Then for the strength, we're going 75 on the strength. We need some strength because we're going to be playing in a post tool with this build. So we got to be able to have some strength. We're just going to go 80 agility and balance that out with the 80 speed. All right. So, so far, so good. 80, 80. We got 75. We got some bird. So far, it's looking good. And the build is just getting started. Defensive rebound, 60. You already know. We want to be able to get at least box out beast. I said box out beast. Yeah, on bronze. We do get box out beast. We get rebound chase on bronze. That's what we want. And then 51 on the offensive rebound. So the DeMar DeRozan that we just saw in terms of the roster and the attributes, he didn't have a 60 rebound, but we get a 60 here. So that's going to be nice. We're not worried about block on this build. And, and surprisingly, we're just not worried about stale on this build. But he didn't he only had a 70 but look what happens if you go 70 right this is all you would get cool we have a motor force or all pass but that's it but if you go 71 you get challenger then you go to at least a 75 or 74 you get this so at least we're going to be able to play some decent defense all right so we get some nice bronze and silver badges for the defense so we'll be able to at least play some good perimeter defense that's what i wanted and that's what we did now he had an 80 or 83 speed with ball something. I just maxed that out at 80. Nothing happens if you go any higher. So I, I just went 80 on the speed with the ball. 
and then I just went 81. So we could get handles for days, we get strong handles, we get unpluckable silver, we get ankle assassin on bronze as well. So that's gonna be nice. Playmaking, like I said, 71 is like bare minimum because you do get um, a timer on silver with the break starter. You might be able, actually no, bare, I think bare minimum is probably 78 because you want to at least get the versatile visionary. That is probably the bag that you want to get. So that's probably bare minimum. But for, for this type of build, we're just going to go 71. Nothing too crazy. Now, this is where the build gets souped up. So look at that, 80 on a free throw. So we're going to be able to hit free throws consistently. He had a 75 three-pointer or 76. I just went with an 80 on the three-point shot. Now, this is where the build to me gets a little just insane because you're gonna see the type of badges that we're gonna be able to get for this build. The build is actually really insane. So now, the mid-range shot, he had a 93. You know what I did? I just maxed it out. <laughs> By maxing it out at 96, you get shifty shooter and set shot specialist and dead eye all on Hall of Fame. All of these badges are gonna be sick. Keep in mind, we didn't even add post yet, so improves the player's ability to successfully make high difficult jump shots. This is going to be insane. Set shooter boost chances of knocking down standstill jump shots, cheese, and then dead eye. Reduces impact of a defender who is close enough. Come on, Damar DeRozan. Now, my people, we're not done. We have to have post control. He had a 87. But look what I did with this build. I went all the way to a 90. I went to a 90. Look at what we're getting. Well, look at what we're getting. Post fade phenom. Improves the player's ability to make post fades and hop shots. Come on, on legend. On legend and then we also get the post uh, powerhouse. We get the hook specialist, unpluckable. But look at that, post a uh, poet. Raises chances of faking out or getting by their defender, making shots when performing moves in the post. Are you kidding me? We get that on 90. Oh my gosh, my people. 90. Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame was one thing. But now we get that on Legend. So now we're going to go 47 on the, the standing dunk. So we'll get all the standing dunks. We're going 80, my people, on the driving dunk. That's what he had. And then we're gonna go 87 on the layup and then the rest we're putting to our close shot to get float game on gold. Look at this build. Look at this build. Hall of Fame post fade phenom with the Hall of Fame badges here. And with the plus one, you could boost this up to Hall of Fame if you wanna set shot. I mean, it's a legend if you wanna set shot specialist. Or you could put this up to um, Hall of Fame if you want a shifty shooter on freaking um, Legend as well, man, man, man This is this this build is souped up low-key This is an offensive nightmare in the mid-range game like this is and then you got to talk about the people that know how to hit leaning shots Very well the build is souped Number one shades DeMar DeRozan the build is souped. It is souped up man souped up unbelievable I wish the name was a little different mid-range slasher that's that's calm but I wish it was like a like a mid-range slashing post score or something because this is what this build is this is gonna be an insane build I'm telling you now all right but y'all let me know what y'all thought about this build and until next time much love